I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. The last week in January has been quite the mix. Swings from mild temperatures to brutal cold. High winds to low and back to high again. As January ends, we fall further and further behind in moisture. A map showing the number of days since at least a quarter of an inch of precipitation was recorded reveals just how dry some places are. As of Wednesday, Goodwell and Hooker had gone 110 days without at least a quarter inch of moisture. Moving east, we see counts in the 60s and then 30s for central Oklahoma. Poor Alva's count is 122 days. The light green areas are faring better at 18 days. That lack of rainfall has led to some high burning indexes even when air temperatures are cold. A burning index map from 11 a.m. Monday, January 27th had most of the state colored orange with a fair amount of red mixed in. If a fire started in the red areas, it would likely have a flame height of 6 to 8 feet at the head of the fire. That same Monday morning, the air temperatures bottomed out in the teens for the majority of the state. The highs for that day for many locations stayed in the 30s. The areas with higher fire danger reached into the 40s in the southwest and only mid-30s in north-central locations. Just after midnight in the earliest hours of Monday, January 27th, high winds moved across Oklahoma. Hinton had a peak wind gust of 58 miles per hour at 12.30 a.m. For most of the state, winds gusted to 40 or higher, the gold-colored numbers. With the heightened fire risk, 23 counties and three cities had active burn bans on Wednesday, January 29th. The counties with burn bans are scattered across Oklahoma from south to north and from Highway 183 in the west to the Arkansas line. The three cities with burn bans are Oklahoma City, Edmond, and Midwest City. Tuesday morning gave us some very low cattle comfort index values. Only eight mesonet locations came in at zero or above. That left 112 locations in the negative range. Goodwell and Hooker came in the lowest at minus 17. We'll have to see how much this cold weather reduces cattle gain and its impact on cattle health. If you watched SUNUP last week, you learned about the new Mesonet First Hollow Stem Advisor. Wheat varieties fall into one of three categories of First Hollow Stem Initiation, early, middle, and late. Check the online list to find out groupings for your wheat varieties. A heat unit map through Tuesday, January 28th for the early group shows Newport at 609 heat units. So for wheat fields around Newport, it is time to scout wheat varieties in the early first hollow stem group. Wheat outside that localized area will be later. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Mesonet Weather Report.